Uh, where do you feel like the offense is at not having the, you know, reps in the preseason games? Where do you feel like you guys are at? Yeah, we practice every day real hard. Um, as far as getting those live reps, like you said, we didn't get them as an offense together, but confidence I could be in this group. Um, we returned to a lot of core guys that, that know what it takes to get done. Just bringing these younger guys along is going to be the key for us. You know, having that, having that permanent depth for another guy to step up, you know, to come make a play. And we've been on the younger guys. You know, we've been practicing hard. Coach has been on everybody. So, you know, that's, that's just what it's going to take. You know, younger guys got to step up and be ready. And we just got to go execute come Sunday. Dalvin, how are you feeling about the running back room right now, just with you, Madison, CJ, and Amir still together? Yeah, um, it's what our fourth year together, fifth year together. So, um, you know, with me and him, it's like it's like night and day. Um, you know, I I know what he feel, you know, what I, he know what I feel. So it's, it's like that when you're on the field. But as far as the whole room, it's a brotherhood. Um, it's something special in that room every time I walk in it. You know, just being around those guys is is knowledge. Um, like I said, that word brotherhood means a lot to me. You know, they've been there through times that. You no know, football doesn't even matter. You know, it's just about being up for your brother. So, you know, that room is special and you know, I'm just I'm just appreciative to be in that room. Calvin, when you guys are put into scenarios at practice when you're not playing in preseason games, how can you tell that the offense is clicking? Are there signs when you're going through like scrimmages, controlled situations that you know this is actually gonna translate over? I don't need those reps in preseason games. Yeah, when you when you when you hitting the play, just timing, just the timing of everything. When you hitting the play on, on the on the right timing and, and getting on guys and just, just knowing your assignments, the physical part of the game is it's gonna come on Sundays. Just just knowing your assignment, what to be, your angles and stuff like that. And when you see on film when guys taking the right angles to cut off guys or, you know, in pass protection, we picking up the right guys so Kirk can get the ball out. You know, that's 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 the that's the mindset we looking for. Just just the right assignment, alignment and technique at this point. You know, like you said, we ain't getting those physical reps, so you know, just just knowing your assignment to the T is is what we're looking for right now until it's come Sunday. Is that timing something that you feel with the offensive line when things are clicking? Yeah, give it to me again. That's the mindset. You know, you just, it just, it just when you when you hitting good runs and you running the football real good, like I said, you you know guys getting on guys and 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 things are clicking. So, you know, you kind of feel it as a runner. And I think I think the O line kind of senses too when you got that kind of hop in your step and you're ready to get the ball again. Last year, you had to dig yourself out of a 0-3 hole to start the season. How much have you guys talked about trying to get off to a good start this season? Yeah, coming out the gate, coming out the gate with some energy. We got fans this year, so that's that's not on the table this year for us to say we don't got. So we got fans to go out there and start fast. You know, we on the way, we on we on the road for for first two games. So we got to go out there and execute. We got to start fast, and it's up to us leaders, us older guys, to get this team going. You know, to be ready to play come Sunday. And when we get down Sunday, you know, to make sure you know, the energy is there. You know, we locked in and we're ready to play. So, you know, that's going to start today and practice on Wednesday at Workday. Hey, Dalvin, what was your reaction just to Herb Smith going down? And how do you replace a guy like that? Yeah, um, replacing a guy like Herb is a lot. You know, um, me, I, I, in my opinion, I think he was poised for a big year. Um, the way he was practicing, the way he was finishing runs, like he was trying to score, score a touchdown every play, just the way he was. He was he was out here competing. You could see he he his mind was locked in to a big year. Um, you know I try to go in there every day in the training room and check on him. You know to make sure his mental all right. I don't been there in that in that situation, been on that table. So it's, it can be frustrating, but you know we brought in some guys to to kind of help fill that role. We got Tyler Conklin in the in the, in, the, in the room already, so he's poised for a big year. So we got some guys that's gonna step up and 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 play some big roles for us this year on offense. Kind of along those lines, Coach Kubiak talked about, and Coach Zimmer, I think, has talked about the possibility of having to play more three wide if the tight ends or if the depth isn't there. For you, when it's three receivers as opposed to a bigger personnel set, how does that change the reads as a running back when you're getting the ball in that situation? For me, it's not different. Um, you know, I like for my tight ends to be to be in to be in a set for me to block, you know, inside because they they real good blockers. Um, Irv and Conklin and all those guys, they they good blockers. So I would like for it, but me, for me, it's it's no difference. You know I me, mean? I like I like running any any set. It don't it don't matter. Um, I'm gonna hit it and go. So it really don't matter to me. How yeah, was it different for you going from an older, experienced offensive coordinator to a younger, inexperienced offensive coordinator? Do you maybe 
talk more and make suggestions more to a younger guy as opposed to Gary? I don't have every officer coordinator. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a different every. <laughs> so it's, it's 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 just picking up on the lingo. Like it's just it's just going with it. Like you know what I'm saying? It's football. So it's like just picking up on what they're trying to get done. Just knowing what what Clint is trying to get done in his head. Um, Clint is a a preparation guy. You know he 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 like getting things done. Like like to see things get done before we do it. Like you know and walk through and stuff. He like things to be done to the T. You no, know, just just knowing what. How, how a coach trying to get things done and how, how we relate to each other. And I think Clint do a great job of, you know, coming to, coming to talk to his players, just be just being a coach, you know. And, you know, I love that about him, man. He's, he, he here for us. You know, he, he, he try to hear us out as much as we can, as much as he can. So, you know, I love Clint as a coach. Changing offensive coordinators even matter to a guy like you because everyone's going to know that they have to get you the ball. Yeah, it really don't matter. Like, it don't. If the playbook harder, it matter. Like that, that's what it comes down to. But like nothing, it, it don't matter. Like I'd have had a different system, but the last past two, three years, it's it's been fun, you know, to play for both of the Kubiaks. So it's been it's been fun. So now I got Clint. So now it should be it should be even more funner. Is the playbook going from Gary to Clint? Is it about the same for you? I mean, you talk about like how how, how difficult it can be if the playbook changes, but does it seem pretty seamless from last year? Yeah, it, it definitely changes from year to year. You know, you got to kind of spice things up because, you know, they hire people in buildings to, to look at a lot of little stuff that you do as an offense. So, you know, we, we change a lot of stuff, you know. But as far as the lingo, that's what changed. You know, some of the stuff we're trying to, trying to get done, that changed. But, you know, as far as our blueprint, you know, we know what we're trying to get done around here. You know, we, we just got to come to ourselves come Sunday. Melvin, you know, you've played with CJ for so long now. Where, where does that chemistry show up between you guys with the experience that you've had together? A lot of those runs, um, protections too. A lot of people don't see that. Um, it's just when we line up in the backfield, you know, I can kind of sense and kind of feel what he's trying to get done as a runner. And, and I think that's key as a running back, knowing what your fullback is trying to get done. And he said, like I said, I always tell him, no, you used to run a football too, running like you're running it. And it's the same thing. So I'm just happy to have him in the backfield with me. Um, so he's older than me, so it's like a big brother to me, like a, like a big brother figure to me. So you know, I'm just happy to have him in the backfield. Hey, Dalvin, uh, going back to your offensive line, uh, Brian O'Neill is obviously the most experienced guy there. How much are you guys leaning on him with the other guys being a little bit unknown? Yeah, um, like a B B.O. stepped in into a job as a, as a, as a rookie. He probably didn't know he was getting himself into. He and he and he stepped in and did a great job, you know, picking up everything, just being poised at his assignment, just knowing what he had to get done. Preparation was good. You know, I seen a young guy grow up in my face. You know, it's just the same thing they can say about me. And I seen that and, and now he gotta do the same thing for them guys, you know. Um we got some guys on the lines that's 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 gonna step up this year and make some plays for us and, and BO gonna help those guys come along. He's been doing it all, OTAs and camp, you know, getting those guys mindset ready and and just letting them know, you know, what we expect of them, you know, as as a Vikings organization. So, you know, BO's been doing a great job of that.